Don't tell me what's a boss to a queen. Boy, you better wake up. She a dream. She ain't come here to play. No, she can't really slay. Lady J, that's a hit to a fiend. Real quick, what's a dime to a dollar bill? And we ain't gonna stop till we got a mill. I ain't worried about the hate and the way. Cause I'm self made. If you ain't fake, then you gotta feel. Tell me what's a boss to a queen. Boy, you better wake up. She a dream. She ain't come here to play. No, she can't really slay. Lady J, that's a hit to a fiend. What's going on, YouTube? It's your girl, Lady J. Gang gang. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And um, if you've been here before, please turn on your post notifications so you guys can get a notification every time I upload. So today, guys, I want to come with some heat. Um, today we're gonna be doing some prank calls today. Okay, I got a couple victims on the list, and the first one up is my daddy. Now. And y'all let me know if y'all want a part two to this video. And I hope I get some really good reactions, you guys. Uh, I'm going to tell my daddy that I crashed my mama car. See, like, my dad, he's in another state and mom's in another state. Um, they're not married anymore. They're separated. But we're all so cool, cordial. You know, they have kids. It's three of us. So they still talk. But my mom, she don't play no games. So I'm going to tell my dad I crashed my mom's car. They got a toll. I need some advice and see what he going to say, you guys. So, I don't know. I hope I get a good reaction. We got some couple victims on the list today. So, it's the weekend. We're going to be prank calling people. So, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, you're going to call my daddy. Let's see. I'm nervous. Let's get it. I'm nervous. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hey, how you doing? I'm not doing too good. What's wrong? Dad, I need some advice. What's, what's bothering you? Well, I didn't have a lot of gas on my car today, so I decided to borrow Mom's Jeep and it's stick shift. Yeah. And I was going up the hill, and I couldn't, like, couldn't, like, press the gas and the brake and the clutch because I'm not that I mom taught me before a while ago so I thought I'd be okay yeah I thought I would be okay because I was only going down the street to the dollar store yeah but I actually ran into the mailbox of so, like someone's house and mom's the whole front of mom's like bumpers falling off and I don't know how to tell her the cops came and had to tow the car and everything. And when I took it to the the shop, and I just came back not too long ago, they said it's gonna cost around three thousand, four thousand dollars to fix. So you know how mom is. To fix the bumper. Yeah. It ain't gonna cost that much. That's their estimate. They get a bumper from the junkyard for a couple hundred dollars. And don't let them uh, call it. They always try to take advantage of women. Yeah, but I don't know how to tell mom. Um, straight to the point. Yeah, but she's going to be upset. Yeah. You, you just let her know. You'll make it up how you can. You want me to tell her. You know, it'll make you look, make you look jab if you don't do it yourself. Hmm, I don't know because how am I going to come up with the money to fix it? Well, a little at a time, just a little at a time. Yeah, I don't know, Dad. I'm scared. Well, she ain't going to kill you and she ain't going to beat you up. She going to be bad, but you just got to face yeah, it. Yeah, but you know how Mom is. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, she ain't gonna hit you. She ain't gonna kill you. You just gotta. How do you know she's not gonna hit me? Yeah, I don't know, but she, cause she ain't like that. She ain't gonna hit you. No, nah, I don't know. Mom might hit me. Well, you just got a woman up and take it. Yeah, but Dad, you should see it. The lights is busted out. Everything. It's not gonna be as much as you think to fix it. 
I don't, I don't know because they said it's like there's like leaking underneath the oil. I didn't think I was going that fast. Well, maybe you know she probably just has liability insurance on it. Yeah, and I don't even know if that car. I don't even. Yeah, she. I don't know then. And she's gonna say why? Why you you know take the car without permission and you know this and that. Oh man, you just didn't have permission though. No, I didn't have permission. I just took it. But you got to tell her. Just But I'm scared. You can't be scared. You wasn't scared to take it, so you got to you got to man up. But how am I gonna find the four the money to fix it? I don't have don't three thousand dollars. Don't worry about that part yet. You just let her. I have to worry about that part. I, how am I? Yeah, you gonna make a payment? You gonna make arrangements? But they said it's gonna take time. like a week or two to fix. Well, she don't. That's not her main vehicle. She, yeah, yeah, I know she has another car, but still. And Christmas uh, is coming up. It's right before Christmas. Um, <laughs> oh, this ain't a prank, is it, Jason? No, Mom's gonna be upset, and then Christmas is it's coming so up. Because you good for pranking me. Are you pranking me? No, and then I'm not gonna have any money for Julius for Christmas. Oh, I know, Jalisa. You know what? <laughs> you just like the girl, the boy, the proud wolf. I think you pumping me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Lisa. Dad, I'm not pranking you. See, that's why I didn't want to call you because you're not supportive. I'm not supportive. You better put me. You're supportive, but you're not being supportive. You call, Here's what you do. You call your mom right now and just suck it up. You got to just call her right now and tell her what happened. And even if she do care. Yeah, but she's at work and over. she can't get upset at work. Yeah, but... And then I don't want her to come home and her car's missing. Exactly. So just go on and do it now. Get it over with. Yeah, but she's at work. You want me to call her and tell her? No, because she's going to make her even more mad. She's going to say why I didn't tell her. Then that's what I'm telling you. Call her right now and... Or you could three-way. I don't know. She's at work. Well, is, is, is it going to be worse at work or when she gets home? It's like you said, see that it's not there. Then you have to, before, right, while she's pumped up and explain it to her what's wrong. It's better to get her while she's calm. Just tell her, Mom, I got something to tell you. I, what? I, I mess your car up. And I'm sorry, I'll pay for it. The but I can't afford I can't rest. afford to pay for it. Huh? I can't afford well, to pay for it. It's Christmas well, time. Well, you're going to at least make an attempt. Yes, but I I can probably only put like $20 a, a week towards it. Well, that's 80 a month. Yeah, but the longer the car stays, I have to pay storage fees. The thing is you got to get it out of here while it's, and it don't cost, how much is the towing fee? Well, I have AAA, so that didn't cost me nothing. So you got to get it out of there. You got to get it towed to the house. That's the first concern. That's the main thing you worry about paying for right now. <laughs> Dad, how I'm going to get it towed to the house and it's not fixed? What's the point? Because you don't want to pay storage until you're ready to get it fixed. At least you got somewhere to put it at the house. So just let it sit there for three, four months until I can afford to get it fixed? Yes, at the house. But you don't want to let it sit there where you got to pay storage. Then she's going to have to see it every day. <laughs> well, that's better than not seeing it every day. And knowing that it's adding up, the storage is adding up, adding up. Now it's costing more and more every week. 
<coughs> you know, every day is, they, they charge on them towing places, them storage places. You know what, I just, can we just call her on three-way and you tell her? Yeah, if you want to do it like that. All right, hold on. All right. Mom. Well, I don't even know how to wait. Hold on. <sighs> Hold on, Dad. I'm trying to figure out how to do this three-way. Hold on. All right, you guys. So, I accidentally hung up on my dad. I'm calling back, and then when we get on the phone with my mom, and he starts telling mom, I'm going to deny. I'm going to say, Dad, I never hit mom's car. What are you talking about? I'm just going to deny it and see what's going to happen. Hold on. Yeah, let me call my dad back. I'm gonna deny him. Say, Dad, I never said that. Hello. Sorry, Dad. I didn't know how to do the three way call. Hold on, okay? Okay. Thank you for calling for you. Oh, uh, hello. Yes. This is the three way. Lisa's on the other end. Yeah, well, first of all, who am I speaking to? Uh, you don't recognize my voice? I do not. Uh, this is Mr. Known as Kofi. Okay, so what's yeah. up? What's up? Um, yeah, we had a, uh, there's an accident. No one is hurt, Ooh. but... Did uh, Lisa do Yes. Yes, and your Jeep is involved. How? How come my Jeep never was in the yard? What are you talking about? No. She didn't. She's scared to tell you. It's so yeah, weird. Tell me what's up. So, yes? Talk. Tell your mom what happened. Go ahead. Tell me what's up. Hi, Mom. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing well. Did you tell me what's the matter? You okay, man? What's up? Yeah, I'm okay, Mom. I'm just calling to see how you're doing. Oh, Jaleesa, this is a prank time. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, so, this ain't even a <laughs> It didn't make no sense. Oh, shoot. That's what I, oh. that's what I figured, man. It had to be. Because I said my Jeep is in your house. She goes to great lips. <laughs> Let me know how you guys like this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.